Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Alicia from Alicia Be Creative and today I'm showing you how I created these super cute little acrylic keychains that were all inspired by nail art I found on Pinterest. So of course everything I use in today's tutorial will be listed and linked down below and you can check that out. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting with these two inch acrylic blanks that I have purchased from Amazon and you can purchase these at a lot of different places. You can get them on Amazon in a pretty decent deal. I think it's like $12.99 for, I want to say a hundred. I might be a little off on that, but I will definitely list them down below on the description box. And so I'm going to show you how I put these together kind of one at a time. So some of the process will be repetitive, of course, but I want to give you kind of an in-depth look on how I worked on each one. So now that I've prepped my keychains by just removing that plastic on the one side, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the first blank. So this one is inspired by this red winter bow design that I found on Pinterest. And so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be base coating these with some glitter. So you could choose to base paint them first if that's something that you'd like to do. You could just take that out and spray paint it. And you'll actually see that I do spray paint one side of the keychains um, for most of these blanks. So to start with this one, we are putting a little bit of Daisy inside of some UV resin. This is a resin that I picked up off of Amazon that is also linked in the description box as well as all the products that I use for UV resin sort of keychains or little things that I do with UV resin. So after I've gotten Daisy thoroughly mixed into my UV resin, I have about probably 10 mLs in the little me measuring cup there. And then I mix just enough glitter in there to be able to mix in thoroughly without really changing the consistency of my UV resin. So really my rule of thumb is just to kind of coat the top of the UV resin in the measuring cup. And that usually is enough glitter to be able to mix thoroughly without making it super gloopy or clumpy. So once once I've gotten that spread out thoroughly with my measuring stick there or with my stir stick, I'm just going to put that under the lamp for two minutes. So this is a 260 watt lamp. It really does work fast, especially with all UV resins that I've been using. And so I absolutely love that because nothing is worse than getting a UV resin that ends up tacky after you attempt to cure it multiple times. So after two minutes, that was kind of good to go. Now we're going to remove the plastic from the other side, sort of that plastic covering and get that cleaned up. And I'm going to use a piece of painter tape to kind of separate out the center section here because I want to be able to add some bling and rhinestone to the center here but I want to incorporate that red color so we're going to go ahead and kind of get this placed directly in the middle and then I'm going to take this outside and just very carefully spray paint the top of this with stiletto red from color shot after this has been spray painted and dried, I'm just going to remove that painter's tape there. And now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take a gold acrylic paint pen and I'm going to draw on the little squigglies. So the reason why I'm drawing on the center section, although you really won't be able to pick it up on the camera, is I need kind of a guideline to be able to use when I add the rhinestones to the side of the keychain. And I really didn't have faith in myself and to be able to kind of be able to do that freehand. So I decided to incorporate this gold paint pen, which was just faint enough for me to be able to pick it up. Um, unfortunately, you can't really pick it up on the camera just because it was so light and transparent, but certainly you could use paint if you really want to be able to see that. So after I've gotten the paint pen applied, I am going to go ahead and add a layer of UV resin because this is going to finish off the keychain before I add rhinestones. So obviously I want the rhinestones to be the final sort of piece to this section and I want to make sure that you know those still remain shiny and sparkly and that those are not covered by the UV resin. So I'm going to spread just a thin layer of UV resin on the back side of that and we're going to go ahead and cure that for another two minutes. It is perfectly hard so it looks gorgeous. I'm going to flip this back over to the white glittered side. And we're going to go ahead and add our decal so we can add our final coats over there. So I got this bow from Cricut Design Space. It was just a bow image that I found in the images tab. And so I did the inset portion as that deep red color. And then the outline of the bow is a 
metallic textured gold color, which is like my favorite Cricut vinyl. It's the only Cricut vinyl I'll use. So of course, any excuse to use it, I'm in. So I'm going to be using this to apply to the front portion, what will be considered the front portion of this keychain. So I'm just going to apply that right in the center here, sort of kind of, you know, at an angle because that's what the bow looks like on the original nail design. And that is kind of going to finish this design section off for this side. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a little bit of some acetone just before I do the sealing of the final side of here before we get into rhinestones and just clean up the edges here. I got a little bit of spray paint kind of along the edges and so I'm going to take the opportunity now before I seal the final side and make sure that I can get all of the spray paint off the edges to really give a really clean finished look. So now we're going to go ahead and add again that thin layer of UV resin over top of this bow side to cover up all of the vinyl work so that we can go into adding the details which will be rhinestones on this side as well as the other side of the keychain. So I kind of stumbled across, I stumbled upon, excuse me, finding these designs on Pinterest. As in my Facebook group, we were working on a nail inspired Pinterest design. And so this is the kind of pieces that I, we had them vote on so that I could choose kind of what I was going to try and recreate a cup out of. And so I really loved these nail designs and thought it would look so cute on a you know, on a keychain to kind of go with the cup should I choose to create all of the designs into tumblers as well. So that was kind of like the inspiration behind this, but I absolutely love um, Pinterest. You can find so many fun different designs and things on there that really can help you inspire you to create something fun. So the first thing I did was add a little bit of rhinestone to the bow section, just the center. So I have both red gems, red um, glass rhinestones, as well as some crystal rhinestones and some gold small rhinestones that I actually used in my uh, B tumbler rhinestone tutorial. Um, so that is where I grabbed those. So some of them are from Amazon. My crystal rhinestones are from Amazon. Both the red and the gold ones that were used for this keychain were both from Crown Crystals. So I'm going to start with my crystals here and I'm going to just line the sides of the red spray paint before I go into the center section and incorporate both the gold rhinestones as well as a couple of the red rhinestones just to kind of pull out and incorporate that red color throughout. So I really love this one. It was super cute, super fun. I really had fun just making these in general but yeah so that turned out pretty cute so let's go ahead and move on to our second keychain and this one of course is inspired by this set of nails right here so this was kind of a black inspired nails it very much gave me the same vibes as the mary leopard print tumbler i just did on my channel and so i really thought that even if i didn't recreate this exact design into nails it really would be a great set to pair with that tumbler that i just created so same deal here we're just going to first get this coated with a bit of uv resin and glitter so i have 357 magnum in my measuring cup with my uv resin spread that out with your stir stick making sure to get all the way to the edge of the blank here that has already been prepped being careful to go around that small hole there as well you don't want to cover that up because then you'll have be unbe able to get in any of the um, pieces um, for your hardware keychain hardware later so we're going to cure that for two minutes and then this is what that looks like so we're going to go ahead and get this sort of applied with some black spray paint so i just cut two small circles out of some stencil vinyl here and that's going to mimic the um, ornaments that are on this keychain for this this nail inspired design so i'm just putting the two circles just on there and then i'm going to take this outside and spray paint it with little black dress the color shot spray paint there so let this thoroughly dry this is a gloss spray paint so it did take a little bit longer to dry so as soon as it was fully dry it was able to remove the stencils there and be able to move on to sort of the next step in the process. So after I've removed the stencils, I'm gonna grab a white acrylic paint pen and I'm just going to draw a straight line from the circle stencil left behind and straight up to kind of the top of the bank blank. And that's just gonna create that look like it's the string that's holding the ornament onto whatever it's attached to. So something I didn't do, and I'm realizing it now, is that I forgot to incorporate the white acrylic paint pen to mimic the, you know, like the leaves or like the, 
yeah, like the leaf branches that are part of the original design. I'm not sure I forgot that. I think it still came out cute, but it definitely was something I could have added as an additional, like, you know, decorative part of this. So we're going to seal this side because this will be all I need to do with this side before I go into adding rhinestones. So I'm just adding, again, that thin layer of UV resin over top, a little less than 10 ml to really get this coated. You want to, though, make sure that you are very um, careful and getting it along the edges without getting it dripping along the side. Then cure it for two minutes and that's what this first side looks like. We can go ahead and add some rhinestones here to this side before, um, and to that side as well as the back side. So for the back side here, I'm not going to add any UV resin to this side because I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to do this really cute mix of rhinestones with flat back pearls to really give this a really unique look in the back. And we're going to do the same with the final one as well. So I'm adding some kind of white flat back pearls I got from Hobby Lobby. I have some black um, glass stones. I have some crystal stones and then I have these black diamond stones from Flynn's sister supply store so of course everything will be linked so don't feel like you have to you know write that all down I will have everything listed and linked down below but we're just going to go kind of back and forth and use my crystal glaze glue to apply all of the stones to the back end I really just love this like scattered like group of stones. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love these little mixes that I'm able to put together with all the different stones that I've gotten. So I absolutely love how that looks on the back side. Now back to the front side, which is going to be really rather easy to do. I'm just going to take a little bit of my glue and we're just going to add kind of what would be the little topper right to your, um, you know, your ornaments. And I'm just going to add a little bit of those crystals to kind of mimic what would be the little silver piece that's on top of your ornaments before you hang them on the tree. So that is the second keychain. We're going to go ahead and move on to our third and final keychain. So we're going to be adding unicorn sneeze to our UV resin for this keychain. So this is for this mint inspired nail set here. I actually started a Tumblr in my Facebook group. I have not yet finished that. Hopefully I'll be finishing that soon in my Facebook group, but we did kind of start that in my group um, this past in these past couple weeks. So definitely stay tuned to sort of look at that. Um, so I'm just going to apply sort of that unicorn sneeze into the UV resin. I'm going to use my barbecue lighter to pop any bubbles, which which I don't think I showed before in the first two keychains, but we're going to cure that for two full minutes until the UV resin as hard. And then we're going to go back and we're going to incorporate those small circles that I cut out of stencil vinyl. We're doing three on this keychain, and then I'm going to take this outside and spray paint it with this ocean mist gloss spray paint from Rust-Oleum. This did take a little bit longer to dry than my other spray paints did. Um, I'm not sure if it's just that I didn't shake it up enough, which very much could be possible, but definitely make sure that this is thoroughly dry before you go ahead and do any more design element work. Work. So I'm going to use the same white acrylic paint pen I did for the black keychain and just add the little lines that are just going to be sort of the string from the, you know, the ornament to the top of the keychain. Spread a little bit of the UV resin over top. Cure that again for two minutes. And this is what the first side looks like so far. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the back side here. And on the back side, we're going to again create another unique mix. So we will be doing a cute mix, but on the front side, all I did was add just my crystal rhinestones um, to the back side or to the front side that kind of connected those strings because you couldn't pick up the white acrylic paint pen. So this is the front side before I finish things off with the back side. So for the back side, I got a bunch of new rhinestones from Flynn sister supply store. I absolutely love my rhinestones and I definitely will link and list them down below. And so I did a mix of like these minty colored flat back pearls. I had some white pearls, some crystals. I had some white opal gems as well that I grabbed from her. And so we're creating this beautiful mix on the back side side of this to kind of go along that kind of mimics the black one we just did but I really just love these custom mixes and now I want to make a whole cup that kind of has all of these gems you know all together but so this is what the final keychain looks like the back side and the front side. On the front, I did also incorporate just a few kind of staggered you know gems as well just to mimic like snow. And so now what I'm doing is I'm taking Silent Night, I'm also taking Daisy and 357 Magnum with some resin, with some facet, and I am 
creating these super cute little snowflakes. I had this little snowflake mold and I thought it would be so cute to be like an additional accessory to the keychain. Usually I'll do like little tassels and stuff and I ended up doing little tassels for the red one just because my white snowflake, the whole, um, it wasn't, I didn't get enough resin or epoxy in that section so it wasn't a full circle. So um, I thought that this would be kind of like a cute addition to the keychain to kind of just what would be kind of like another accessory point. So I'm going to show you how I put together just one of these. I will have all of the keychain hardware that I used listed in the description box. I've used these same things before. I've literally had all of the same keychain hardware, both in silver and gold. I probably for going on two years because I don't make keychains that often. Um, but it really does last you a long time. So if you're someone who loves to add like keychains as like additions to orders um, or you want to make a matching set of something, which would be a super cute kind of look, this is kind of what I use them for. Um, so this is kind of, you know, why probably these, these have lasted me for so long. So I'm just attaching the, you know, traditional keychain hardware and then attaching the snowflake with a jump ring to that string of jump rings that's connected to my keychain. I always struggle a little bit with these not because like they're difficult, but it's sometimes really hard to grab everything with those little pliers when I just want to be able to use my fingers, you know? So that is kind of the first one there. I do have, um, I don't like to use like the larger key rings. I like to use the little, um, the little, I don't know what they're called. Like those ones, the little clasp ones versus using the jump rings just because they're easily easier to attach to your keychains or to your keys if you're, you know, attaching, if that's what you're going to be attaching it to. So I kind of prefer those, but to each your own, whatever you would like to use, but I will list everything down in the description box. So of course I wouldn't make you watch that entire process of me putting these together because that could be rather painful. I ended up changing the last one into a red tassel, but it really came out cute. So here's a final look at all three keychains. I really love how cute these came out. I definitely want to make a set for myself. Um, I think that these are going to inspire me to definitely recreate um, the cup for the black and red keychains. But I do hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. And of course, if you did, give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you guys know that I'll see you in the next one. Bye.